guys, what's going on, man? Welcome back to another episode of, of course, uh, The Arsenio Buck Show. And you know what, man? I am boiling right now. Choices. Some people, they don't like to hold, hold themselves accountable for making choices. Let me give you some stories. A big burning story out here in Thailand right now is a woman. A young girl. She chose to become a presenter. A presenter is someone who presents and promotes products. But she's also bought in a particular way. In a particular way, whereas she can show up and what she would do at parties is pour drinks and she would also drink with the other people who are there. Now, you guys can probably put one and one together and you're going to get the big two. But you know what? What they did, they set up all these glasses of shots, right? So they had one shot by one shot by one shot, and underneath each shot was 1,000 baht. 1,000 baht is equivalent to about 32 U.S. dollars. 32 U.S. dollars, perhaps. Nonetheless, 32, 31, give or take a dollar. And so what they said, they said if you take a shot, you could take the 1,000 baht underneath. She drank two bottles, two big bottles. Alcohol poisoning, dead. Just like that. You made the choice. And this is nothing. And again, uh, all the sympathy in the world. But a lot of people don't understand that the reason why she is dead is because she made a choice. Money over life. And this is what a lot of people do every day. They make the same choices, expect a different results. She made a choice. Just as the other people made a choice in a place called Klong Thule, a slum here in Bangkok, to live there with the poorest amongst the poorest. This happens in India, this happens in China, this happens in America. Everyone has a choice. And I really do mean that because, guess what? Again, just like I told you before, I heard the gunshots. I made a choice to not be a part of those gunshots. But a lot of African American children make another choice to be part of those gunshots. Just as this girl made a choice to choose money over life. I'm going to give you another one. A ridiculous ass NFL player by the name of Antonio Brown. This guy had everything cut out from him. He went from being homeless or, or I forgot what the story was. But let's just say he made it into the National Football League. Was a stellar player. But it was decision after decision after decision that would not only jeopardize the face of the franchise of the Pittsburgh Steelers but would also throw other people underneath the bus. He ended up leaving a franchise for another franchise. Guaranteed. $30 million guaranteed. And you know what? He was like, no, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. It was choice compounded one after another, after another, after another that resulted in him being released from the franchise. A lot of people would say he asked for that release. I don't give a damn. It was a choice. So he went to the New England Patriots, had everything set away, ready to go. Boom, allegations of things started coming up in terms of, oh, he sexually assaulted me one time, three, two times, three times, four times, five times. I don't care about that story. I care about the choice he made in terms of sending the text message to this woman, a threatening text message that resulted in New England Patriots releasing him for good. And now he no longer has a job in the NFL. Better yet? He has now made the choice to go back to college for whatever reason that is. But again, he had everything gifted to him. But because he wanted to, because he had that ego, because he wanted to be the center of attention, because he wanted to live by his rules, now he's out of a job and no other team will probably touch him in the National Football League. Three teams in one year, gone. And now allegations in terms of this, in terms of that, this guy's downward spiral begins now. And this last quote was from a movie called Equalizer 2. Denzel Washington, an up-and-coming actor. I forgot his name. But he starred in the movie Moonlight. And then this was his next important role. Probably the best actor in all of Hollywood. All those big name bearing people, whatever you want to call them, they are not even as talented as this young individual. This guy made a choice to be part of a game. And he got a gun, and they were like, hey, you're going to kill him tonight. And he's like, okay, okay. And next thing you know, Denzel Washington, he went in there, kicked the door open, pulled the guns out, said, hey, come on, let's go. 
pulled him out of that place, went down to the base of the elevator, said, come on, you need to get back to your home. And he's like, no, I need to go up there. I need to waste these fools. He's like, for what? He's like, okay, you want to be a big old bad wolf? Uh, you want to be a big bad wolf? Here goes the gun. Gave it to the kid. And that kid, he didn't pull it up to his head, but Denzel Washington made him pull up that barrel right to his head. It said, come on, make the choice. Make the choice. All you need is five pounds of pressure. Make the choice. Kill me right here, right now. And he walked away, walked back to Denzel. And Denzel's like, you know what? Give me the gun. You don't want to do this. Give me the gun. And he's like, you know what? There are liars up there, and I'm a liar too. Put him in the headlock and put that gun right up against his neck. And then he gave him a long speech. He said, you have a choice. Make a decision. You only get one life. Use that choice while you're still alive because you have no idea what death is. No idea. So make a decision. The boy goes on to say when Denzel Washington's walking out, he's like, but why me? Why me? A little bit of a stutter. Why me? He said, I don't know. Let's find out. No more blaming. No more blaming. This is what Antonio Brown did. He blamed the Pittsburgh Steelers. He blamed the Robert Kraft. He blamed this. He blamed that. He never pointed at this man right here, the man that he sees in the mirror every day, and a lot of you right now are never, it, it just do not place that blame on yourself. You like blaming other people. Hey, University of Hard Knocks, it's time to own up to everything. I think I had some dislikes on my YouTube video a while back in terms of the University of Hard Knocks being 100% accountable for everything. Yeah, come on, let's be honest. You joined that gang, it was a choice. You accepted that job that's a choice you decided to stay at that job for a long time that's a choice you decided to believe something that isn't true that's a choice you decided to call yourself something that's not true that's a choice you're fat that's not true this is what people say about the word fat and obesity but you're not that person it's compounded whatever is happening in your present life right now was compounded decisions in the past leading up to what is happening in your life right now own up to it Hey, all right, if I'm a fat ass, I'm a fat ass, but what am I going to do about it now? It's all choice. It's all about choice. And so what I wanted to just preach to you guys right now, from the little girl that made headlines out here in Bangkok by drinking so much alcohol because she saw 1,000 baht underneath each of those shot glasses, and now she's dead? Now, after the death, that's all based on what the other man did. I don't. That's none of my business. I'm just talking about you. I'm just giving you the choice, the basis of what a choice is. Antonio Brown, he made the choice to go out on record and start cussing everybody out and doing this and doing that. Hey, that's how it is. Look at everything that has happened throughout human history. From the 1700s, from Christopher Columbus's sorry ass landing out there in Puerto Rico and beginning the genocide of the Native American Indians and completely wiping out all the Native American Indian tribes and then now calling them helicopters. It was all a choice that he made to wipe out an indigenous population. Just as all wars have happened, it's just a cycle. Put it together and finally say, you know what, they did, they, they did this, they did this, they did this, they did this, but now we're living in one of the greatest eras ever, and now I continue to blame people and to not own up to all my goddamn pitfalls. It's a choice, people. So, you know, I made a choice this morning to wake up and to be grateful. I made a choice this morning to wake up and to inspire as many people as I can around the world. I made a choice this morning to help as many saleswomen as I possibly can. And you know what? I do that every motherfucking day. Now, you have the choice to um, kick some of those goddamn losers out of your life. You have the choice to get out of that bullshit ass neighborhood. I don't want to hear, oh, well, they didn't give me this. I don't have this. Well, make it happen. Stop saying statements and start asking questions. Enough is enough. I'm your host, as always, over and out.